Hi everybody, uh, we had a dry spell today so I got up uh, the garden and placed a rod probably about 10 metres up the hill. Um, the rod I have just outside the door here is uh, a well established rod, it's been in a couple of years. Um, it's been used for various uh, other experiments. Um, so what we have is this three core cable, uh, all three strapped together, that goes up to the top rod. We've got this um, green one which uh, just goes outside to the rod the other side of the door. I've strapped the two ground connections together. We have uh, one probe looking at the signal um, <clears throat> excuse me, one is looking at the signal being uh, applied and then obviously the other one's looking at the return. Um, the whole system is fed off the UPS uh, which is unplugged from uh, us, um, <laughs> we've carried it here. We're sat on a wooden cabinet, so we've got no ground uh, connections to upset things. And the signal you see on the oscilloscope at this moment is the um, effectively the two channels uh, in uh, sync. I'll just ground one just to um, just using uh, DC coupling as well. There you go, that's grounded uh, channel 2. So we'll go back to DC coupling. So that, um, we do have about 0.2 of a volt. Uh, I already ascertained that uh, on, a, on a DC. Right, anyway, uh, we'll start coming up the frequency range and you'll see. Oh, we're injecting, as you can see, uh, we're 5 volts per centimeter, so approximately just shy of 20 volts peak to peak. Coming up the frequency, there's 30 kilohertz, I'll expand the trace, 40, 50, 60, and you can see now there's a slight separation occurring between the send and receive signal. Channel 2 is delayed, which is obviously to be expected because of um, obviously the ground condition and the frequency we're running at. There's bound to be some delay in the signal, return signal. Uh, there's 90 kilohertz, sorry, 900 kilohertz. We're coming up towards a meg. But can you see now that channel 2 is, uh, the amplitude is greater than channel 1. Now, unfortunately, this is uh, why I couldn't pursue the experiment any further. That's it. That's my maximum frequency. Um... Just expand that once and you can see there's uh, just set the cursors 1.04 megahertz but you can actually see the, um, the signal delay but we've got an increase in I don't know it's fractions of a volt but it's there uh, and this was the curiosity that uh, <coughs> excuse me I mentioned and um, wonder whether anybody could take this further. I can't go any further. I haven't got the kit to uh, get higher up the frequency. I do know, I'm sure Dragon mentioned he was seeing some quite interesting results at around 2 megahertz from memory. This was earlier, uh, sorry, late. Oh, sorry, midway through last year. I've lost track. Sorry about that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is the Earth Return Curiosity. Thanks for watching.